Have you ever thought about starting your own podcast? When I was trying to get to the this podcast off the ground, I had so many questions. How do I record an episode? Where do I find my background music? How do I get my show on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and all the other places people like to listen? Where do I find the advertisers? The answer to every one of these questions is really simple. Anchor. Anchor is a one-stop shop for recording, hosting, and distributing and monetizing your podcast. And best of all, it's 100% free and 100% reducedly easy to use. So, if you want to start a podcast, go to anchor.fm slash start to join me and the diverse community of podcasters already using Anchor. That's anchor.fm slash start. I can't wait to hear your podcast. Happening now. We got, of course, David Benioff and D.B. Rice, who are also infamous for season, the final season of Game of Thrones. Mostly famous for it with one infamous season signed a deal with Netflix. And fans are not really happy with, with them. And even though Netflix is already or are not on the clear with them as they lose subscribers, but yet prices are right, risen. Although, keep an eye on that. And we got an MCU actor joining The Quiet Place 2, the sequel of the critically acclaimed horror movie. And we're going to have, like, more to skim through. I'm McRiz 46, and you're watching Geek News. Or listening to Geek News. Breaking news, we got an MCU actor joining, according to the Phantom Twitter, official Twitter from, for a while ago that one of the MCU actors will be joining a sequel to a hit horror franchise, or a hit horror movie, A Quiet Place. Said the original Brian Tree. Has scheduling issues. And actors David. Dijmon. Hansu. Dijmon Hansu. As you see in the picture, who was, of, who's of course, recently appeared in Guardians of the Galaxy and Captain Marvel. And he will be replacing Brian, Brian Tyree, Henry, due to scheduling issues. But yeah, that's. I think that is kind of necessary for. For that. It's really necessary for, of course, the replacement, you know? Just like that, of course. It can happen if you appear in a movie that you got into a scheduling conflict. But yet, we are, of course, going to get ready. A 
of course, the news that I got that I had it checked out lately that Song of Ice and Fire author George R. R. Martin has confirmed his world of ASO IAFF book schedule. Which is, of course, The Winds of Winter, which happens to be the uh, season 7 to season 8 Game of Thrones. Dunkin' Egg 4 A Dream of Spring Dunkin' Egg 5 and Fire and Blood 2 you know the Game of Thrones prequel and that is of course part of the schedule but I think the uh, Dream of Spring is of course of course, Game of Thrones related. Which is, of course, going to be season 8. But other than that, we are getting things started with, with the course, Game of Thrones ending, and the prequel beginning before. So, which David Benny on the DBYs will not be involved in. As of course, we do have the news from yesterday that David Benioff and T.B. Weiss, of course, has a deal with Netflix. Netflix just signed them up. Now, before I'm going to get to that statement, I do want to clarify that, that here in Geek News, I will not go off like, like everyone else. I will keep keep it professional and, of course, in a well-dignified manner. And I will not give my opinions on it. I will not give my opinions on this unless it's a episode. Unless it's an episode of it, not a, uh, you know... And of course, it's not a like a Marvel Tuesday, Wednesday Wicked, or Monday Thrones type of show. This is a real serious one. And I will get this ready with David Benioff and DB Wise. With the Netflix, and in my opinion, is of course, you know, the, like I say, I cannot share with you on Geek News. And yes, where I continued to left off about D- David Bader off the of DBYs. Sorry, but I was confused, but Netflix have gave David Benny off the of DBYs to head, you know, it gets them a three million dollar five year deal of the course and at Netflix UK and Netflix US a source from Deadline but uh, you know what it's actually interesting I know I may be a uh, I know I I know I should have given out opinions but but this should be interesting, like, of course. Well, not really interesting, because I'm uh, I'm in my news anchor appearance. Oh, I'm not allowed to give my opinions on it, but, you know. But it's going to be a heady for an early grave for Netflix. But although... But although... I'm going to have to find that out. Although, this is also part of the Geek News, before we're going to close out the episode of, of Geek News, 
I do want to mention one thing, of course, is, it's of course Ricochet. If you guys ever watch wrestling, and I know it's not part of Geek or anything, but, but it's just about his SummerSlam attire. Everyone, I know you're all asking, wrestling's not Geek, what are you talking about? Well, just hear me out. For you, for you indie wrestling fans, you know I'm a Ricochet. But if you're a big fan of Lucha Underground and throughout till season three, dude, that's where his last episode appears. You know him as Prince Puma, who was a masked luchador that was a first ever Lucha Underground champion before losing it to to Mil Moretes. And then before he won it against Johnny Mundo, put his career on the line and lost to, to Pentagon Dark. And also, also his career has ended. And he's no longer Prince Puma. But, but now he's at WWE as Ricochet and he is part of and he has the wrestling tire based off Nightwing, who who is of course Dick Grayson. And yes, I did watch SummerSlam, where unfortunately no one, where where of course he did lose in a losing ever at SummerSlam, while while dressed like in a Nightwing attire, ring attire. But no, he did not take off his, uh, he did not take off his jacket because it's supposed to be like a Nightwing attire. Although I do have this one, although this is the last piece of news. Now we're going to go to the shout outs. But before I end this episode... I just want to, I haven't done this since, since the debut of Geek News with, right, gave a shout out to Entertainment Hacker. But for today's Geek News, I want to give a major shout out to everyone involved at Geeks and Gamers. Josiah, Aaron, uh, Jesse Milestone and uh, of course I the rest and and the head honcho himself Jeremy Jeremy D Day Cobra who is the head honcho of Geeks and Gamers and he's the one involved in the channel and and yes I know if you guys uh, now yes I uh, and yes, if you guys want the uh, problems, like like if you have problems in the uh, geek community, don't don't give me a shout out on that, guys. Because that my in Megabits Forty Six Radio, I just only give the news about it, and that's it. I just give you the news, and I don't I don't have any uh, like problems. Just you know, it's just saying. But that'll be SJW Watch if it's a, like a problem with politics and movies, movies going political. With Hollywood, the Geeks and Gamers is for you. And yes, and they also have the secondary channel, which involves sports, called Sports Wars, which is named after Star Wars and. And yes, and I do have a problem with with just Aaron, who is a Chicago fan. Well, you know, no bad blood or anything, but I'm just not a Chicago fan. And I'm a Texas fan. He's a Chicago fan. Yeah, Chicago fans can fight me. All right. That's going to do about it for Geek News on Mega Man 46. I will see you guys next time.